Today, we are gonna make some grass. No, I'm not in Colorado, so it's not gonna be that kind of grass. <laughs> it's our techniques that are so simple and sensible, your models will practically build them themselves. <laughs> It's Mad Dog Merv. You know how much I like Mustangs. Well, today we're going to have a little story about, well, pink Mustangs. It's springtime after all. And, well, pink, bright yellow, you know, bright green, those are, you know, great spring colors. And as it turned out, over the years, uh, the factory Ford, uh, well, they felt the same way. And there was some spring colors that they released. Um, on some of the old Mustangs and believe it or not one of them was pink so we are gonna talk a little bit about pink Mustangs so stick with us and well, hopefully you'll learn something about the pink Mustangs that Ford puts out so a year ago when springtime came around I was working on a group of 125th scale Mustangs and I was doing some different paint jobs and I kind of noticed that they were actually really springtime uh, colors and I put them all together and took this picture right before Easter, and this was kind of my uh, my happy Easter picture last year. For those of you who don't know, I am a rabid Ford Mustang fan as well as a Mercury Cougar fan, and this kind of uh, sums up how I feel about things. I found this on Facebook. It says, "This is your uh, this is your brain. This is your brain on drugs." I really like that bottom Mustang. It's been uh, you know had the T top put in. That's my style of of a Ford Mustang. I grew up uh, with several in the neighborhood when I was a teenager, and someday we'll talk a little bit more about those. But today we're going to talk about pink Mustangs. So one day last year, I'm driving down Highland Drive in my work truck, and I spot this bright pink Mustang uh, behind a church, and I had to pull over and take a couple of pictures of it. It's like a 2010, 2011, and I absolutely love the look of this thing. Uh, I don't know. Uh, for a guy, I know what's weird, but uh, I do like certain shades of pink on cars. So back about 10 years ago, if you had a uh, adolescent daughter, you had to have seen the high school musical uh, series from Disney. And uh, the main gal in that drove around here in St. George with this pink Mustang. And a couple of years back, right down by my house at the Estate Tax Commission, one spring day, I saw this beautiful uh, Mustang race car sitting on a trailer. I guess they were trying to get it licensed uh, or something. Anyway, I um, thought, wow, that's kind of a neat looking thing. Well, lo and behold, that season, it shows up out at RMR and uh, actually pretty darn fast. And I thought it was a really neat looking shade of pink on this Mustang. So where this fits into the real Mustangs is in 1965, the uh, Playmate of the Year was given a pink, custom color pink Mustang. Uh, they called this color Playboy Pink. And it was actually very popular. I know that they had done uh, some cosmetic companies. I think Tutsi was one of them, had uh, done a limited run of a few pink Mustangs. So Ford began to incorporate special lines of colors for, uh, for different occasions. In uh, 65, 66, uh, they had this Playboy pink. Uh, in 67 was when they really started to uh, bring these out. Uh, so you had this, the Dusk Rose, which we'll talk about in a minute, uh, Playboy pink, which was also passionate pink, and hot pink in, in 68, 69. And then an Easter time coral, which was the same as Caribbean coral, and we'll talk about that here in just a moment. So the first car we have here is one that is painted in this uh, Passionate Pink, which was a January color for a special January promotion. It's also known as a Playmate Pink. Um, the next one is Dusk Rose. And we'll talk a little bit more about this Dusk Rose color here in just a minute. This was a 67 only color. Um, this next car is back to um, Passionate Pink. And Passionate Pink was the color for January in a special promotion they did in certain markets. Uh, other markets, they called it hot pink as part of their uh, promotion. The Rainbow of Colors promotion, which uh, Rainbow of Colors, this would have been known as Caribbean Coral, but in their springtime release, it was known as Easter Time Coral. I know it can be very confusing. Well, back to this Dusk Rose, because, uh, well, a few years ago, 
I was at a wrecking yard locally, and I found a wrecked Mustang that was in this light pink color. And I thought, you have got to be kidding me. That's actually pretty neat. It had a front-end collision wreck, and this was back in the late 1980s. So this thing, and it had been sitting a long time then, this thing couldn't have had very many miles on it when it was wrecked. It had air conditioning and a few other options. The hood wouldn't close all the way. And this was at a wrecking yard that I actually put in another video. Uh, about 10 years ago, I was at this uh, wrecking yard last, and you can see by the arrow the location of that car. If you blow that up, you can see it's a very, very light pink Mustang that's sitting there with the hood up. And he would have sold me this car for like $500 at the time. Unfortunately, he passed away a few years later, and this whole junkyard was cleared out, and there went that opportunity. Because I build some strange and eclectic things, I started in my modeling to uh, incorporate some pink cars. And so here was a 66 Mustang drag car that I did with that um, kind of a hot magenta color that uh, Testers puts out. I can't for the life of me remember the number of this, uh, this bottle, but it's called Hot Magenta. I think I used, um, mine was a color by Boyd version of it but you can see here it is pretty much straight from the bottle I just uh, thinned it with uh, lacquer thinner and that was it I threw some Shelby taillights on the car as well as some ladder bars and this big old hood scoop uh, narrowed rear end all that kind of cool stuff and threw a tunnel ram on it give it this kind of a pro street look but it really intrigued me having a pink you know Mustang model I started doing more research and I found this one that was just really, really cool. And I had to build a model of a 1969 Shelby GT500 that was given by Hugh Hefner to the Playmate of the Year for 1969, Connie Kresge. Wow, what a beautiful, beautiful car given to a beautiful young lady. So Connie Kresge, she was born the 19th of September in 1946 in a place called Wyadonet, Michigan. She first appeared in the magazine in January of 1968 and later on became the Playmate of the Year for 1969. Connie passed away, tragically, in 1995 at the age of 48 years old from lung cancer, of all things. Uh, she had studied to become a nurse when she was doing her um, pictorials. Anyway, this, uh, this model was just a 69 Shelby model that I had. And I took that hot magenta and I just kept adding some classic white to it, some nice gloss classic white to it, until I got a color that I felt was uh, fairly close to what I saw on the pictures. Now, true, I could have gone down and got the, the Ditzler color match and all that kind of great stuff, but I thought, no. I don't need to do that. I just need something that kind of uh, stands out and represents uh, this particular car. So hopefully you'll enjoy these pictures, this little slideshow I have. The uh, 125th scale figure, uh, I don't even know the uh, the company that makes these. They're like a bunch of, it comes like a bag of girls. You got arms and heads and torsos and all that stuff and put them all together. Anyway, I made up this gal to kind of sort of represent Connie and uh, put it on my base, took these pictures. So uh, go ahead and enjoy and uh, get back to you here in a minute.
So I did build a 428 Cobra jet engine for this car, and you can see it here. The one thing I haven't done yet is I haven't put the uh, wires on it yet. I know, shame on me. But I think the engine turned out pretty good. Uh, it, the kit actually has a decent engine compartment. Uh, I consider it to be a decent engine compartment. And you can see here it is in the engine compartment. It looks pretty darn good. And overall, I'm just very happy with, uh, with how this turned out. So thanks for watching uh, this little video on pink Mustangs.